All right, so uh, first and foremost, the game winner. Talk about uh, what was kind of going through your mind when you took that shot. So really, I, I wasn't really looking for my shot necessarily. I was just trying to execute the play to maybe get another teammate open. I really wasn't looking for my shot, but when I did get it, it was really like confidence. I guess confidence going through my mind, like, okay, you got it, square up, knock it down. That's it. Um, yeah, that's great. Obviously, you know, this was a way for McGuire to get his 100 big shot win. Um, and then obviously you were a big part of that today. Talk about how that was and hitting that last shot for him. Yeah, hitting the last shot, like I said, I mean, it's not it's not really for me, I guess. It's it's to be it's for the program. So for his hundredth win, this is this is good, this is great, but now we're moving on to the two hundred wins, you know what I'm saying? Like we're just trying to keep we trying to keep trying to get better each step of the way. There you go, coach. Um and then obviously you did mention kind of, you know, moving forward the two hundred wins and everything. So obviously, you know, a big finish coming up um to, to close out big shot play. Um, talk about kind of the mindset of the team going forward and how this win kind of propels you and gives you confidence. So the mindset of the team right now is we don't really we're not really worried about the record. We're just trying to bring us together and go as far as possible. Whenever you're ready, we'll just start with an opening statement. Well, I guess through this game we found the way to win. You know. Um, you know, really proud of our team for just trying to figure things out. Leading up to the game, we only had eight that could play today, so um, we had to adjust quite a bit. And um, I'll be honest, the game did feel pretty uncomfortable as we're trying to figure figure things out with lineups and um, figuring out what was best for this group today. But um, you know, today was an interesting game. You know, the the game winning shot was only our second lead of the game. You know, so we didn't we didn't lead most of the game at all. And uh, but very proud of how our team just executed, uh, especially that last inbounds possession. I, I was very, very proud of, it, of Kiana, her willingness to take that shot, take that look. But it was just great execution by our team. So uh, for us to have eight and to adjust and find a way to win is just um, really, really proud of our team. Okay. Um, obviously, not a um, obviously, not a big game, but Well, the good thing, it was, it was a play we had in our playbook, and we, we've – We've kind of worked on it and practiced some. We've we've jogged through it often and review it quite a bit. And uh, we just had to put the right players in the right spots for that possession. And um, you know, Mac made a good cut that I think made her defender bite on Kiana's defender. And then uh, Taye set a, a really really strong screen. And then Tina did a really good job of feeding Kiana with the pass with good momentum, just to give her space to get off a good look and get squared up. So. Uh, it took everybody to get that shot off, even though Kiana got the look and, and made the look. So um, it's a play we we knew, and it's a play we we executed almost almost perfectly. Yeah, I think when you watch this play, we're uh, you know, we look young and we play young, you know, we're, we're still figuring out uh, the preparation, the detail and just how to compete uh, and compete where we want to be in the big South. But, you know, we had a lot of young players that had to, to play a lot of minutes today. Uh, you know, Ashley Tudor had to play some five for us and to go against, you know, the post player Faye was, was a challenge for her challenge for us, but she, she took on that challenge and, and she contributed quite a bit offensively too with 17 points. And then, yeah, you know, I think we saw a really good, strong game from Kiana other than that, that final shot. I thought she was really good. And then Danny and Destiny at the point guard position were able to, to manage that as freshmen. So it's the first time we had to just go with both freshmen and didn't have Ariel today. So um, but again, just proud of everybody. You know, uh, Bree was a little banged up from practice. You know, just everybody, Mac, Ty. It was just, just an overall good win. Obviously it was the win number 100 for um, you know, in the big house for you. Uh, just talk about, you know, I guess just kind of the what you built here at Radford and this team in 100 and, and how it came the way it did. Well, how it came was kind of crazy. I wasn't sure, <laughs> wasn't sure what was going to happen in that last possession. We just wanted a good shot. But, um, yeah, I was just telling our team downstairs that, um, and they really gave me a nice um, – frames, sign frame, and it was really cool. Um, you know, when I see that 100 Big South wins, I just think about a lot of people I've had a chance to work with here um, in my eight years. I think about, 
you know, the opportunity Robert gave me to, to come here and be the head coach. And, um, you know, it's when you take a job for the first time when you're a first time division one head coach, you, you think you have a vision, but can that vision become a reality? And, um, you know, it's, it has because of good people. Uh, I know this year has been a little bit different year for us. We've, we've had a lot of adversity, but I still believe strongly in this program and, and what we can do. And, you know, the school supports women's basketball and uh, has an expectation for us, which I love. So um, when I think of the 100 wins, it's, it's because of the support around us and the people I've had a chance to work with that, that makes us a really special program.